They're having fun with gloves. Yeah, that's that's yeah. all you need. But we are only two Moon weeks into winter. River. <laughs> If your kids already have a case of cabin <laughs> fever, we've got the cure for you. Entertaining experiments that you two can do at home. So here to share some science magic is Kate Bieberdorf, better known as Kate the Chemist. And Kate has a doctorate in inorganic chemistry and is the professor of the public understanding of science at Notre Dame. So hey, good morning. Time. It's good so morning. nice to have you here. Welcome Thank you for back, having Kate. me here. I'm so excited. So today we're doing winter science activities. So they have something to do with snow or ice or something along mm -hmm. that line. Okay. All supposed to be fun that you can do at home with minimal mess, but maybe this is a little, more, a little bit of a mess. We like to make a little bit of a, a little mess. bit of a mess. So we're starting off with snow in a jar. Snowstorm in a jar, blizzard in a jar, whatever you want to call it. So what I like to do for this one is I take a mason jar and then I fill it with about 400 milliliters of baby oil. You can oh. use any oil you want, but I like baby oil. Now what I want you to do is take this one and pour it into here. Okay, so what's got, this? That this is water and that's paint. And so we've okay. got about 60 milliliters of white paint. I use the washable paint because I know Smart. parents. Yeah, exactly. And then 250 milliliters of water, and then stir, stir, stir. Where do you get all that baby oil? Yeah, okay. just enough. And then once we have a nice, like, milky solution, which we're getting there, maybe just another couple seconds of stirring. Love that. Okay. Now what I want you to do is carefully and slowly. This is a slow pour into okay. here. Into slow. the baby oil. Slow. Very slow. Yes, okay. very slow. Perfect. Yep, that's good. And so what's going to happen here is we're going to see two, the two layers separate. So we've got our oil and then we've got our water. Oh, they have different densities. Exactly. And so you can pour a little faster than that, Dylan. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. No, you're Not following so directions. Live, you're following live directions. TV. You're perfect. And so what we are going to see here is we have an emulsion layer forming. And so that will sit there for about five minutes or so. And so I went ahead and made some ahead of time oh, nice. here for you. So this is what it will look like after about five minutes. So go ahead and open, open that. Yep. And then we have these Alka-Seltzer tablets. And what mm. we're going to do is I'll hand these to plop, you. Plop, fizz, fizz. Yep, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. You got it. All at once? Yep, go for it. And okay. drop it right in. And so what we're going to see is that the Alka-Seltzer tablets are going to... Oh, look yeah. at that. Okay, I was like, is it working? It is working. Okay, good. That. And so what's oh, happening... Oh, so cool. Yeah, it releases carbon dioxide gas. It grabs the paint, pulls it up to the top. When they pop, then the paint then drips back down. And this oh, can go on and on and on. I actually made these jars yesterday. And so, I mean, That's they keep, cool. you can keep reusing them. Science. Yeah. Oh, That's that is great. science. Really Super neat. Not a messy, very cute. You can talk about density. We've got carbon dioxide. There's a lot of different science in there, and it's just in a jar, so you can cap that. it and then toss it. Love that. Okay. okay. So, what easy. about making your own homemade slime? Okay, so uh, uh, I winter know. slime. So, last time I was here doing slime with Jenna, she told me that it was banned from her house, and I hated that because I was like, we got to get slime in the house. So, I yes. found a way to make something a little less messy. Okay. And I, hopefully, we'll see. So, in here, I want you to stir. Stir, okay. stir, stir. So, we've got two cups of Elmer's glue. You need to use high quality glue here. Do not get okay. cheap glue. You okay. need good glue. Okay. And then one cup of water. Water, and then we're going to add some food coloring to it. Not yet. Oh, not, not yet, yet. Al. You not just yet. keep stirring. Take the water. Just keep, <laughs> just keep stirring. Okay, so we've got food coloring. I like to do blue because we're doing snow slime. And then we mm -hmm. need glitter. You can pick your glitter. What do you glitter. want? You got a little bit of the okay. white one. We should do some blue or the silver too. Perfect. Okay, good. So now what we have here is a borax solution. This I want you to make, not your kids to make. So it's okay. one okay. heaping tablespoon of the borax in about 600 milliliters of water. Okay. And then we're going to pour it also in. Keeps cockroaches away. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. <laughs> you learned that when you moved to New York. Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. And so I'm going to pour a little bit more. You're going to keep stirring, okay? okay. So don't stop stirring. Not don't now, stop. here, stop. what I have is about two tablespoons of instant snow, and I'm going to add about 100 milliliters of water. Where do you get instant snow? You can buy it online, like honestly. Just snow Google snow. instant snow. <laughs> or, or you can take a diaper, a baby diaper, rip it out, and that's oh, what's in the yeah. inside. And so as you see, as we add the water, it completely absorbs it, and it creates huh. instant snow. Very very right. cool, right? You got about 60 seconds. Okay, so now grab this, take okay. some out of here, pull it, pull With the slime, hand. yep, Ooh. and dump it in here. Yep, just grab a ball, perfect, chuck it in there. Roll it around, <laughs> roll, roll, roll. And so what's happening is the, the polymer is going into the slime and it's mm -hmm. absorbing. And so this is a super oh. absorbent polymer, so it takes all that extra water and goopy stuff away. Uh -huh. So if you pick it up now and start playing with it, it will eventually Turn, start looking up. like this. Okay, we gotta get to the ice lanterns. Okay, okay. ice lanterns. Really so this That's one we have water here, we're gonna add some food coloring to it and then some glitter, add some glitter, Craig. Maybe what what do, what do you want? I'll go pink. Pink, perfect. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these balloons uh -huh. and we're gonna put it over the soda the bottle. Okay. And then I'm going to hold this very carefully, and now you're going to squeeze. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Right. And so you can do this by just pouring water in, but it doesn't have enough pressure. You're not going to get a big ice lantern, so that's why we use a soda bottle, but you could also use a water um, faucet. Okay. So then you're going to take it off of here, uh -huh. hopefully. 
hopefully. Oh, come on, of course on live TV. There we go, okay. Then you knot it, and then you're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil, put this outside if you live in a cold place, or put it in your freezer. So then, 24 hours later, you take this out of the freezer, open, open, open. Wrap it in aluminum foil to minimize mess, because oh, if it explodes, cool. it's a huge that. problem. Yep. Huh. And then you're going to cut the balloon top off, give it a little slice. Oh, that's cool. I'm trying, no, I can't no, get it in there. <laughs> There we go. Okay, and then you can rip this off, and now you have a really neat ice lantern. Wow. If they're filled with water, you can hammer out the center, take an LED puck, put it in the middle, and then it will glow. Very cool science. We love it. Science. Science. <laughs> hey, thank you. We'll so be much. right back. We'll be back. We need some help. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.